Level up. Level up. Level up. Hey YouTubers, it's your girl Sierra and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be hmm, like a little story time, I guess. And as you see in the title, it is, He Did Not Know I Was Trans. And if you didn't know, I am trans. <laughs> okay, so this was about... Um, a few months ago, I want to say. Yeah, like a few months ago, around like June, after my birthday, at my 20 first birthday she's 21 finally well i've been 21 for a minute now but and this is still the same hair that i had in my video before this one the amora renee hair and i look at them curls just look at that i absolutely love this hair and i will be continually continuing buying this hair i love i love, love this hair i'm about to finish getting ready after this video i just gotta press this down a little bit put a little edge control on man that's about it so let's get to the story okay so this was like a few months ago um i was at the, i was at a straight bar and i was with one of my close friends well really a social because i only have one best friend i don't really mess with people like that because everyone is messy not everyone but majority of the people are messy and like to keep up drama that's why i don't have no hear me clear no gay friends no trans friends. I do want to have some trans friends down the line, but the one that don't go to the club because they are messy. Like, if you go to the club a lot and stuff like that, then you're not going to be my friend because a lot of them just be into a lot of stuff that I'm not into, like drugs, cocaine, and stuff like that because I don't smoke no cigarettes, no weed, no, what's this little thing called? Black and mild. I don't smoke none of that. I don't drink. Nothing. I don't do no cocaine, no pills. I don't do nothing. I'm, I'm high off life. You feel me? So, if people do that, I, mean, I don't mind someone like doing that. But when you try to like, I went to um, the wood before I live in Detroit, Michigan. I went to the wood before, and one of my uncle's friends was doing coke off a of fucking um, key, and they like, I said, not this way, boo. She's don't do that. She don't do none of that stuff. I went to the bathroom. They in the stall doing coke. I'm like, uh-uh. I can't come here for real because y'all doing too much. And once you think you about to give it to me, like, that's a no-no. So, that's why I don't really like to have clubby. That's why I really don't like to have clubby friends. But I don't have nothing to guess on if you know how to. Handle yourself. You just go out to have a good time and come back home like something I do. But if you one of them like drug selling your body, I mean like you gotta get your money the way you can. But I don't really like to be around that stuff because birds of a feather, birds of a feather flock together, and that's for sure with me. And if someone see you with that type of person, and they're like, oh, you must do it too. And I don't want that on me, so no. But I was at the uh, straight bar. I'm trying to think which one was it. I really don't know. I don't remember because it was a few months ago. And I only went like once, maybe twice. But I went there with my uh, one of my associates and my sister. And I was just having fun, dance, dancing. And my sister, she liked it. She a twerker like me. So she was twerk, 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 twerking it up. And I'm like, shit, let me get out there too. So I started twerking the next time. I feel something behind me. I'm thinking it's my sister. And so I feel like a little bro. I'm like, wait a minute. I turn around, it's a nigga, and when I say he was high, my type, he was tall, dreadlocks, he had like a little beard going on, and his dreadlocks was like took into like a ponytail with something hanging down. I said, oh, he was like brown, white skin kinda. Oh, he was fine. So I'm like, oh yes. Sorry about that, guys. My 
Little thing has failed. This little thing is about to irritate me. I gotta get a new one. Mm. Okay, there you go. So, like back to the story. So, I'll see back. I look back and see who who type of nigga it is. My type. So, like, I'm targeting it up. He sit down. I start giving him a cute little lap dance. So he's like, "Dang, my, you fine as hell. Uh, can I get your number?" I said, "Sure." So he was my sister boyfriend homie so i'm thinking in my head like okay he already know my t my sister probably told him or my sister ex shady little boyfriend told him so i'm thinking like okay he already know so i gave my number and stuff because i'm 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 coming back to the story but i always tell people like about me when i when i see you in person if you like with a group of people i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna give you like my number and stuff that I'm going to text to you. But if you by yourself, I'm going to tell you. But I'm not going to tell you if you with like a group of people. Because that's when they try to like, you what? You was born a what? You got a what? And I be like, calm down, boo. Don't, don't let none of this fool you. She will give it to you. Don't let it fool you. So I don't really tell them when they with like a group of people. But if you by yourself and stuff like that, then I'll tell you. But... If you wouldn't creep up, I'm not going to tell you. So, I'm thinking, like, he already knew because my sister's boyfriend was shady like that. He he the type that tell people stuff about me before I would get there. He'll be like, oh, this person is just like y'all know. I mean, that is kind of, like, real, but give me the chance to tell somebody that. Don't you tell. I know that's your homie, and you want to let him know before he won't try to talk to me, but... Who said he was going to talk? I mean, he probably wasn't talking to me because I'm like, with no makeup on. It's a little gloss. You feel me? But let me be that person to, to tell you because if you have like a disease or something and you about to come around my friend, I take that back. I'll tell her. I ain't going to say it a lot. But still, you should like give the person a chance to actually know I won't unless I see him talking to her, then I tell her, but I want to just pit his business out there. Everybody like, oh, it's like, you know, a herpes uh, victim coming in, HIV victim coming in. I want to do that. I'll let them tell them myself. Or if I see, like, he talks to one of my friends and I ask her, like, what did he tell you? Oh, nothing. Then I tell her like that. But as far as just pulling his business out, no, I want to do that. But he always was the person to do that. So... I'm thinking in my head, like, okay, he already know. He like me. He cute as hell. I like him, too. So, get my number. So, we was texting a good three weeks, almost. And I was really liking him. I was like, okay, I can see this probably going to where he out, it seemed like. Because he talking about he want me to meet his mama. He got two kids. He want me his kids. How he want to take me out. He don't want me to work because he want to treat me. He want me to just like a woman and stay in the house. stuff. He was talking about me moving in. I said, you move a little fast, baby, but you, you sounding good. I like how you talking to me. So, oh. So we talking, we talking. So he like, I know this probably sound funny, but I'm horny as hell. Can I see that pussy? I'm like, okay. I'm thinking he's talking about my um my butt because that's what some guys call the butt is pussy, like boy pussy. So I'm like, okay. I'm gonna send a picture of my butt. He sent a picture of stuff. I sent a picture of my butt. Ooh. Oh my god, I been knew it was kind of big because we used to be kissing and stuff like rubbing on, the, rubbing on his leg and I feel it damn by his knee. I'm like, oh, I know this thing probably big if I can feel it. And it felt like it was on soft, so when he sent me a picture of it, I was melting. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I'm about to, I'm about to go in and I'm ready to bounce out of you feel me so i'm like yes yes i was in the picture oh y'all ass said this hair looks so soft i said oh it is he like but i want to see the pussy i'm like wait you do know i'm trans right he like what no i didn't know that should be the first thing you would tell somebody i'm like i thought you knew your your homeboy know my sister know you cool with both of them so i figured you knew he like, no, they ain't tell me nothing. 
that's for that's after uh my homie do that to me this and that i said well i thought you know he's like no i said but how you feel like well i guess i could try it so i'm like oh my god yes like i feel good he like but when you want me to come f you i'm like what we want me to come f you i'm like what happened to oh i want to take you out this and that oh it's different now how is it different? Because you trans and I don't really do that. I'm just going to test it out. I'm like, excuse me? When you see me, what did you see? A woman, right? When you talk to me, what do you hear? A woman, right? When I was going out with you and we was walking around, did people stare at us because... I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna never say never because I don't want nothing. I don't want it to happen. But even before I start transitioning, people thought I was just like a lesbian because they thought I was a real girl. So when I started transitioning, I started like looking like this because I can go out like this with jogger pants on, a t-shirt, and my hair pulled back. And then like, oh, that's a girl. You would never look at me and be like, oh, I know you trans or something like that. You would never look at me and say that. So I'm like. What's the difference? Because when you didn't know, you only you seen was a woman, but now that you know, you think I just want sex. Ain't that all y'all want? I hung up the phone. I'm not like any other trans. I know a lot of people not like that. But no, I don't just want sex. Like what? No, I want a relationship. And a lot of trans put that bad look on people when they just like okay and have sex with any everybody you know because every trans not like that she might have been like that or he might have been like that but no a lot of us not like that we just don't go around having sex with people so no so he kept calling me, kept calling me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. I said, no, it's cool. I feel you. You probably messed with another trans before. Don't play in my face because you wouldn't be willing like that for one. And you think because she just was like, okay, we can have sex. I'm going to say, that. no, I'm not like that. So I just stopped texting him. He still be texting me. Now I'm like, I'm still so sorry. Can we chill? Can we chill? No, because I know we chill leads and I'm not crazy. You was talking all that good stuff, how you want to treat me like a queen. And as soon as you find out I'm trans, you think it's going to lead right to sex? No. So I'm good on you because I know how your mom thinks. So that's why. I'm single now because that's what a lot of guys think. That's why I'm thinking about moving because I'm like Detroit or either they marry straight or in a closet. And the straight and the closet ones only want sex and that's it. Go back to their girlfriend or their wife and no. That's not going to be me. So, that's why I don't really have sex like that. If I get a little urge, I might call one of my usuals. Like, my, my ex-boyfriend, because he's still single. He want to get back in a relationship. I might, no, no, no. Or, my, this other person I'd be talking to. Because, I can do that. But, as far as me and any everybody having sex with them, no, I don't do that. That's why I'm single now, because that's all they want to do is meet you, find out your tea, and Dicky think you just going to do sex. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not me. That's why I'm single, and I'm going to continue being single because I don't do that. But that's the end of the video. I have a lot of more stories, a lot of more cooking videos coming, a few mukbangs, a, a few more tutorials about makeup, a little bit of everything. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for subscribing to my channel, liking, leaving comments, all that. I love you guys so, so much. And you guys encourage me every day to keep going. So please share, like, and comment. Love you guys. Level up. Level up. Level up.